Sisters, I hope you're all having an amazing day. Welcome back to my channel. Now wait, before I start this video, I need to show you something that we are releasing very soon. Look at my ears. Ah, I am like so excited. We are doing CDW rose gold earrings, I know. Literally, how amazing is that? So, as you can see by the title of this video, we are going to be improving your legs and feet. As most of you would know, I have my online platform called Coach Me World that thousands of dancers use to improve. And we just actually released a foot flexibility and foot strength three day course. So I'm just gonna show you what the course looks like up on the screen right now. In this course, you're gonna be strengthening and making your feet so much more flexible than what they are right now. And then go straight back down. Last one, everyone, 10. Good, you can really feel the muscles up the side activating. It seriously transformed thousands of dancers' legs and feet. If you go onto our page, or if you go onto the CDW Instagram page, you will just flick through and see how many dancers transform their feet. So I thought today, what about I take you through my favorite five foot flexibility and foot strength key exercises so my YouTube fam can improve as well. Now just remember, if you're not yet a part of Coach Me World, make sure you start your free trial. It's literally waiting there for you to unlock. So make sure you go to www.coachme.world and I can help you improve. So let's get straight into this. So what we've got to do first is take our before photo of our legs and feet so we can actually see where they started. Then we'll do the key exercises, then we'll take our after photo and you will be shocked with your results. And I want to see your results too, so make sure you DM me all of yours as well on the Claudia Dean World and Coach Me World Instagram. All right, let's get our cameras ready and let's take our before photo. Okay, so let's take our before photo of our right foot. Get our cameras ready. Three, two, one. That's it. All right, let's go straight to the other foot. So we go, three, two, one. Perfect, now let's get stuck into the key exercises. Just before we do our key exercises, make sure you've got a power band or any resistant band handy. You can get my power bands on claudiadeanworld.com. Have a roller handy. So if you don't have a roller, you could also use a thick book and also make sure you've got a power ball handy as well. If you don't have a power ball, you can just use a wall. And a good alternative for a power band if you don't have a resistant band at all is also ballet tights, fun fact. Now our first key exercise is called the demi point stretch. So all I want you to do is just make sure you're sitting on your knees and put your hands out in front. Now I want you to tuck your toes under exactly like this. This is really good for stretching out the big toes. I'll explain that in a second. Now I want you to get your ankle bones together. Then I just want you to simply sit back on the heels exactly like this. Now we're gonna stay here for one minute, okay? Let's get our stopwatch ready and I'll chat to you while you're here, okay? Three, two, one, stay, that's it. So what this does, dancers, it basically stretches out your big toe joint. And the more flexible your big toe joint is, the more it's gonna improve things like your balances, your pirouettes, your foot overall aesthetic line. It just improves everything in general. And you're gonna feel straight after this, when you go on demi point, it's gonna feel so much more flexible. So that's what we're gonna be doing after this. So keep staying there, get your ankle bones closer together. Try and put as much weight as you can in the heels. That's it. You can probably start to feel a stretch now. Can you feel it? Yeah. So remember, you can do so many more key exercises on Coach Me World. If you love all the ones you do today and you love your results, make sure you go straight to my platform. Okay, we've got five, four, three, two, one, and come out of it. That's it. All right, now if you stand up quickly, now feel how flexible your demi point is. So go up here and just stand on demi point. Doesn't it feel better? 
so much more flexible. That's what we want. Now we're going to do my bar foot stretch. So what I want you to do is just find a little towel, especially if you're on tiles or tarquette like I am. Otherwise, if you're on carpet, you probably won't need the towel. You're gonna need your bar for this one, obviously. So make sure you've got your bar or alternatively, you can use a railing. If you're using a kitchen bench, I'll tell you what you can do as well because there is a section here that you need to tie the power band around the bar. So what you're gonna do now is tie the power band around the bar exactly like this in really tight double knots. And you wanna make sure the loop is about that big. Then once you've done this, I then want you to put your feet inside the loop. So you put both legs in exactly like this. Now, if you don't have the bar, like I mentioned before, all I want you to do is put the power band around the knees and grab two ends of the power band in your hands and then hold onto the kitchen bench with the power band. But if you've got all the utensils that I have, then you can just follow along like I am. Then I want you to go over the top of your feet exactly like this, getting your ankle bones together. Now I want you to hold onto the bar and just rock your knees forward exactly like this. Now we're gonna stay here for 45 seconds, okay? So let's go, three, two, one. So rocking forward, so as you can see, this is why I wanted you to grab a towel, just because you're going to feel obviously the upper part of your foot on the towel. So you wanna make sure that you're not just putting that on tiles because that would definitely be painful. Now make sure your ankle bones are together. That's it. Keep pushing forward. Good, you're doing well. All right, we're nearly there. We've got roughly about 20-ish seconds left. So keep pushing the knees forward. If you're using the kitchen bench, you're gonna have both ends of the power band like this in your hand. Yeah, exactly. Keep rocking forward. Okay, we've got 10 seconds left. You're nearly there. You're doing well. This really stretches the upper part of your foot. It's amazing. Okay, three, two, one, and coming out of it. That's it, well done dancers. So release the feet, perfect. Now we're going to move on to roller foot stretch. So what you're going to need obviously is a roller or you can grab your thick book. Now all I want you to do is put the roller out in front. You're also going to need your power band. So quickly go and grab that. Now I want you to put the power band on the upper part of your foot. So right here. Now all you're gonna do is stretch both ends of the power band, then put one side, so the right side under your heel, then put the left side under your heel like that. Then put your heel with the power band underneath it on top of the roller. Stretch out your knee and keep your right hand holding the power band. So you're gonna keep pulling the power band like that. Now stretch the knee and we'll stay here for 45 seconds, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. That's it. So keep holding it. Now you're gonna find, as you start extending out, you're gonna feel a stretch across the top part of your foot which is where obviously this key exercise targets. So keep stretching, keep locking up the knee, lock it more, that's it. You're doing really well. We're obviously gonna be doing this on our right side and our left side too. Actually, in the comments below, I wanna know exactly which foot of yours is better. Is it your right side or is it your left side? I personally prefer my right foot but I know there is a lot of people that do prefer their left foot too. So I'm keen to know, are you a righty or a lefty? So lock the knee. Okay, right, and coming out of it, dancers. Now we're gonna do our left side. So we'll do exactly the same process. We stick out the roller. We're gonna get our left foot up, put the power band on top of it, put it under the heel on one side, under the heel on the other side, put our heel back on the roller, and now we're gonna hold here and stretch. That's it. Three, two, one, go. Now make sure when you're here too, you're actually actively stretching that left foot. So like really stretch it as hard as you can, then lock up your knee as much as you can too, right here. That's it. Keep stretching, dancers. That's good. When I was younger, I really did struggle with my legs and feet, especially with flexibility of my legs and feet. So over the years, over the past 15 years, I've been obviously coming up with creating so many key exercises to transform my legs and feet. And that's really what I think got me into the Royal Ballet too. If I hadn't have fixed and I guess created those exercises for myself, 
I probably wouldn't have ended up there. So I think it's really important that you learn these today and try and really enhance your aesthetic line of your feet. Okay, now come out of it. Well done, dancers. All right, now our next key exercise is called my power ball push downs. Now quickly go and grab your power ball and also for this particular key exercise, you should actually take off your shoes because it's really good to be able to see exactly what your toes and feet are doing. It'll make it much more easier, I think, for you to follow along if you take off your shoes. Now grab your power ball, put it up against a wall. If you don't have a power ball, you can actually use just just a wall. Now you're going to place the center of your foot in the center of the power ball exactly like that and you're going to straighten out your knee. Now all I want you to do is feel as though the underneath of your toes right here is basically going to stretch up and over the power ball exactly like I'm doing like that. Now you're going to notice that my toes they don't do this so they don't crunch, they extend up and over and they stay long. That's exactly how your feet should be when you do your power ball push downs. Then you come up. Now obviously dancers, just keep doing a few with me as I chat to you. If you're really struggling to get the motion of this, I go through so much detail on my platform when you type in power ball push downs in the search engine and you can actually learn exactly how to achieve what I'm doing right now. So make sure you do that if you're struggling. So let's do about 10 together. So we're gonna do the right foot first, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. So we go up and over, keep the foot long, then recover, that's it. And keep it long, that's it, and recover. And you're just gonna recover to demi point. Keep it long, good, that's three. Then we go four, that's it. Then we go five, up and over the power ball, good. Then go six, that's it. And go seven, good. Then go eight, that's it, and nine. It's a bit of a calf workout too. Last one, keep them long, 10. That's exactly right. You should really be feeling underneath of your feet right now. So all of your little intrinsic muscles under your feet should be really woken up. Now let's quickly do the left foot, okay? So place the center of our foot in the center part of the ball, lock our knee and go one and relax. That's it. And two, good, relax and go three. That's it, relax and go four, good, relax and go five, that's it, and go six, good, and go seven, that's it, and go eight, that's good, and nine, good, and last one, ten. Amazing. Now what I want you to do is place your shoes back on your feet because we're going to do our final key exercise. Then we'll be taking our after photos, which is so exciting. So this one is called my manual foot stretch. So I love this one because you've got full control of how far you want to stretch your feet. So all you're going to do is this. You're going to place your right heel in your right hand. Then you're going to put your left hand over the top of your right foot. Now make sure when you put your left hand over the top, it's just above your knuckles. Now all you're going to do is stretch your foot like this when you're stretching, make sure your third toe is lining up with your knee. So in other words, you're not doing a slight sickle, you're keeping it nice and long, okay? Now we're gonna stretch here for 45 seconds. Three, two, one, go. So stretch, go, 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 go. Stretch down, further, 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 further. By the way, dancers, I think by the time this video releases, I'm gonna be in full swing for my next Claudia Dean World limited edition collection photo shoot. You wait until you see the theme. It's like next level. So make sure you're following all of my Instagrams because honestly, I always forget like on YouTube, probably some of you wouldn't see the things that I'm up to unless you've got Instagram, but honestly, it's all happening there. So make sure you follow me on Instagram. Keep stretching. We've only got five, four, three, two, one. Now come out of it. Amazing. It really molds your foot the right way. Now let's do the left side. So left hand in our left heel, right hand over the top of our left foot and let's stretch. Go. Hold it. So stretch it, stretch it. And also if you're wondering where my outfit's from, it's my Coach Me World wear outfit, which is so exciting. So that's releasing very soon as well. 
We have so many things that are dropping before the end of the year. So make sure you've got your Christmas wish lists ready because I have so much for you all. <laughs> okay, so keep stretching. Go, 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 go. That's it, keep stretching. Think about that after photo, how good you want it to look. Keep going, go, 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 go. So we've got about 10 seconds left. Go above the knuckles if you can, because that really targets the upper part of your foot. Go, go, go. Three, two, one, and relax. Well done. Let's get our cameras ready and let's take our after photos of both feet. So we're gonna do our right side first. So get our right foot ready and pushing down. Three, two, one. That's it. All right, now let's do the other side. And we go. Three, two, one. That's it. Well done. See how amazing your progress is. So make sure you DM me both of those photos individually because I cannot wait to see how far you've come just from this YouTube video alone. I know already my feet have improved, so I'm sure yours have definitely improved as well. Make sure all of my YouTube dancers, so that's you, you've got to unlock your free trial on my Coach Me World platform. Honestly, Coach Me World took so many months in the making. It's by far the biggest project I've ever worked on, but it is the most rewarding because I get to see all of your amazing before and afters every single day. So I can't wait for you to be on the platform and well done on your progress today. I'm gonna to see you in my next video. Bye dancers.